So she's been like slaving in the kitchen for like the last, what, four hours now? And she's like halfway done. So I just want you guys to know all the effort she goes through just to make some of these meals. Like, and there's a reason why she doesn't do them very often. This is one reason why. We've been waiting since like, oh, at least one o'clock. She started cooking about one. Yeah. And it's four o'clock now. So it's been three hours and she's about halfway done. So, yeah, I hope you guys appreciate this, man. <laughs> this is, ooh, that's an insane amount of work she's going through. Just to make mac and cheese. Um, what? Loaded baked potato, uh, Brussels sprouts with bacon, and a good meatloaf. Good meatloaf. Just four entrees, basically. Yep. Wow. Come on, water bowl. Hey, y'all. Woo. Lord have mercy. Yes, it was a it was a heck of an evening in the kitchen. <laughs> Wish I'd have started earlier, or or maybe have done a couple of things, you know, yesterday, like like boiling the potatoes. Maybe, you know, I needed the pasta to be hot for the way that I did it. But or maybe I could have prepped the Brussels sprouts and maybe even made up the whole meatloaf, you know, except for the the topping. Excuse you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. Silent. Um, yeah, okay, so I have a southern baked macaroni and cheese here. And it's had a chance to like firm up really good. Because it took me a little while to get ready after the cooking experience. <laughs> um, and here is a loaded baked potato casserole. Yeah, I know y'all got a good look at that earlier. And I have the Brussels sprouts with bacon, and the Brussels sprouts are nice and tender because I quartered them and then cooked them in bacon fat. <laughs> uh, and water, you know, I needed, needed the water to keep it wet. <laughs> and here is my recipe for meatloaf. You know, it's just kind of the way I do it with Parmesan, Italian breadcrumbs, eggs, you know, and the ketchup and other stuff, you know. Anyway, I, you know, I'll try to share those recipes as I'm going. <laughs> but yeah, it's got the nice caramelized uh, sauce. Mmm. <laughs> Ooh. Nice and tender with a nice, really nice tang. Mmm, because I just used the Worcestershire sauce and the ketchup and some honey. Mmm. Oh, that meatloaf is very tender. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Making the meatloaf like I did makes me want to try to make a Salisbury steak. I haven't done that in a long time, but it's similar to a meatloaf recipe. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. I love Brussels sprouts. Mmm. Mmm. Especially with bacon and garlic. Mmm. <laughs> Mmm. Mmm. Those came out just right. Mmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mmm. How I'm cooking. Let's see, I'm gonna get the crispier end of my potato casserole. Mm. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. That is so creamy. Mmm. 
but I left the hunks of potato. Mm. So you know it's supposed to be a baked potato. Which I cheated. I didn't bake the potatoes. I boiled them, but eh. <laughs> I prefer them that way, I guess. I'm not very skilled at baking potatoes, so I just stuck with what I know. <laughs> mm. 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 And the green onion and the cream cheese and sour cream and all that cheese. And of course, bacon. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Honey, that's good. Ooh. Let's get up in there. <laughs> it's so creamy. Mmm. Mm. All right. Now let me see about getting into my mac and cheese. Getting some of that crust on the top. Mm. Mac and cheese, please. That is just what the doctor ordered. Mm. That's southern mac and cheese. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my goodness. I'm get some of the crispy cheese. Mmm. Hallelujah moment. Oh my goodness. This is exactly what I've been craving for a little while. I've been plotting that mac and cheese for probably the last year. Mm. <clears throat> the smoked gouda was a nice touch. I think next time I try it, I might go for a couple of uh, more exotic cheeses, like maybe a Fontina or a Havarti or something like that. Something a little different. Gruyere. <laughs> mm. Mm. Merciful heavens. Oh. <clears throat> Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 laughing at the dog. <laughs> <laughs> He's a funny little critter. Oh. Mm. Mm. oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> mm. Mm.
<clears throat> that's like the perfect macaroni the perfect potato casserole loaded potato casserole the perfect meatloaf and some pretty damn good brussels sprouts mm. <clears throat> Shoot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I see you, little dog. <laughs> of the meatloaf where the parmesan and the breadcrumbs had kind of crusted up. That's tasty. Mm. Mm. kind of kind of hard work in the kitchen for me but that's only because my dang help but say la vie <laughs> but it might have been hard work but it was worth it mm. it was definitely worth it mm. Mm. Y'all, my eyes are rolling back in my head, like, through the whole video. It's like, this is, like, ultimate comfort food here. Mmm. Toppy. I love those. I like those little spirals. So rich. Oh my God. Mm. 
Excuse me. What's on the TV here? <laughs> we started on Love Island Season 3. And I tell you what. It's like they backslid just a little bit. Because it's not like really grabbing me like Season 2 did. Season 1 was, was kind of hard to get into, but... You know, we eventually, <clears throat> we eventually grew to enjoy those characters, but season three, it's, you know, it's just, I, I think me and Susan both are like napping through most of the episodes, <laughs> like passing out. So I was like, these people must just be boring. So <laughs> I'm hoping it gets better. I really am. But that's been our reality fix. Mm. <clears throat> mm. I've been watching that show Dark. And that kind of grabbed me and kept me. Whereas Wentworth, I kind of just, you know, I watched an episode or so and it's like, I need to, you know, give it another chance. But it's kind of lost me. Um, what else is going on? Pretty much I'm just playing Sims, you know, when I'm not doing anything else. <laughs> mm. Not really much going on for me. Mm. Oh my gosh, that's so good. Mmm. I have too much food. I have too much food. I'm getting full. Mm. I'm just nibbling now. That's kind of the way it always happens though. I don't eat until way late in the day when I'm cooking. <clears throat> and I guess I'm just tired. <laughs> so I can't really have a big appetite I guess. Oh my gosh, and everything is so rich. Oh, oh so good. Oh man. You know, I'll probably finish everything, but it's going to take me a really long time. I like taking little breaks. <clears throat> Take little breaks. Mm. I'll probably eat at least half of what's left. And store the rest for tomorrow. Mm. Yeah, so not too much has been going on for me. Mm. Just chilling. Mm. <clears throat> I had a little issue with the pharmacy. So I got like uh, anxious. <laughs> And ordered myself some edibles, so. <laughs> can y'all tell? <laughs> I'm sure y'all can. Mm. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I was hoping that would help my appetite this evening. And, you know, I ate enough for one person, at least. <laughs> mm. I want to finish this piece of meatloaf. Mm. Oh, excuse me. Mm. 
last bite, a little bit of meatloaf. Mmm. Hmm. I may put this away. I have my food already pre-served for me tomorrow for my leftovers. Because <laughs> I think I'm pretty much full. And it's almost 7 o'clock at night. Hmm. It's been a serious day in the kitchen for me. I started cooking at 1 o'clock, I believe. Or right around there. Lord, Lord. <laughs> Alrighty, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. I enjoyed eating all this good home cooking. Ma'am. Yeah, I, I went through recipe after recipe after recipe after recipe to get my ideas. And I just, by the time I got through it, I was just like, you know, I'm just going to wing it. <laughs> Because everybody says or does something different. So I just kind of did it my way. But that's that's how I do everything. I do it my way. <laughs> Alright, thank you guys for joining me. I had fun. I hope you did too. And I love you very much. And I will see you next time. Mm, bye now. <laughs>